Welcome back to the Print 3D channel and another episode of The Random Print. On this episode of The Random Print, we're going to check out The Zombie Hunter. Welcome back and thank you for joining me here on The Random Print. I know it's been some time since I posted any content, and that's because I've had some issues with my GMAX printer. And after posting on Facebook in the users group, the one and only Joel Telling, aka the 3D Printing Nerd, offered up some suggestions that really helped but they didn't help 100%. And then my buddy Chris Russell, also a member of the users group, offered up his suggestions and even sent me his settings, which I'm currently using with a few tweaks suggested for my printer. So I'm really anxious to print and I can't wait to get started on the Zombie Hunter. So let's head over to Thingiverse, download our model, slice it up in Simplify 3D, and get it ready for printing on the GMAX 1.5 XT+. All right, so here we are at Thingiverse. Here is the Zombie Hunter head by Sculptor. I'll put the link down in the description so you can download and print this yourself. It looks like it's a very popular model. It looks like 149 people have already printed this. And he says right here, we'll print without support needed. So that's awesome to hear. So let's go ahead and download this thing and head over to Simplify 3D and apply our new settings and get it ready for printing on the GMAX 1.5 XT+. Okay, so here we are in Simplify 3D. I went ahead and dropped down the model onto our print bed Let's go ahead and check out our process settings. Once again, I got to thank Chris Russell for sending over his settings because they really helped. For this, I have an extrusion multiplier set at 0.95 and that seems to work for me. So I also have my retraction settings set up, but these are for my printer, so they may differ for yours. On the layer height, we're going with a 0.2 millimeter, three top solid and bottom layers, and three perimeters. We're also going to lay down a skirt at 10 millimeters from the object with four outlines. This is my usual skirt. This gives me a chance to make sure my bed is completely level before printing. For infill, we're only going to use 10% on this. It's a very small model and I really don't want to waste any plastic and I'm really anxious to see this print. Once again, we're not using any support material because the artist suggested we don't need it. For temperature, I'm currently using Matterhackers Pro PLA and their suggested temperature range max is 205. So let's set ours for 200, which I've already done here. For cooling, for the first layer, I'm going to set the fan speed to zero. And then at the third layer, I'm going to set the turbo fan and the GMAX printer for 40%. I'm only going to be printing this at 40 millimeters per second because I feel like that's a really good print speed and it shouldn't take too long. So let's go ahead and hit OK and prepare to print. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the prepare to print button and get this sliced. Well, that didn't take very long. Simplify 3D is really fast. Let's go ahead and zoom in and check this out. That looks really cool. I think this is going to print really well. It says it'll print in about 11 and a half hours, so that's pretty cool. I'm guessing it'll be closer to 12. Let's go ahead and hit the play button and check out the slicing and printing. That looks really cool. I'm not too worried about the overhangs. It should print out pretty great. This is a really cool model. I can't wait to see this printed. I'm going to go ahead and hit the pause button and save the tool pass off to the SD card and head over the printer and get printing. Okay, so I have the SD card loaded up with the Zombie Hunter G code. I've also loaded up some of the Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of gray. I recently started testing this and I will have a full review available soon. So let's go ahead and fire up the printer and get this printing. I'll set up a time lapse camera and I'll see you guys on the other side. So the time lapse looks cool, but the print turned out terrible. We had some extrusion issues on this one. You can see clearly that there are all kinds of problems here. Um, it started off okay. The print took a little over 11 hours, but then it got worse. And I made the rookie mistake of messing with the flow rate after I'd already set my extrusion multiplier within Simplify 3D. So it just made it worse. So I'm going to go ahead and check out my settings and I'm going to go ahead and queue up another print. Um, I'm not going to set up a time lapse camera. 
but I am going to show some close-ups of the bad print, and then we'll come back and see how this next one turns out. All right, so we're back, and I had a couple more failed prints, and they were having the same issues. The extruder was clicking and skipping, and it wasn't putting down any filament at one point. It got kind of messy, so I canceled these. And then I did a couple of things that Chris Russell had suggested, which was to put a penny between the spring and the lever arm on the extruder. And that actually applied a little bit more pressure on the filament, and that helped out a little bit. And then I increased the temperature three degrees above the suggested 205 for Matter Hackers Pro PLA. And immediately the extruder stopped skipping. So I'm really happy when we're printing again. This print turned out amazing. As you can see, there are no extruder issues whatsoever. I'll put some close-ups in at the end of this really great print, of course. And I'm really happy with this Matter Hackers Pro PLA. I'll be putting out a full review, as I said before. It is really some great filament, and I suggest you buy some. And in fact, down in the description below is a link to Matter Hacker's store. If you click on that, it'll kick me back a little bit of money at the end of the month. And that helps out the channel 100%. It gets us more filament, and we may even be able to add another printer soon. So thank you again for joining me here on The Random Print. I'm really sorry I haven't been able to post any content, but the printer is working great, and I can't wait to share some more stuff with you guys. So please remember to subscribe to the channel, comment and like on those videos, and join me again in the next episode of The Random Print. This really turned out awesome. I really love Matter Hackers Pro PLA. Click on those links below, you'll get a good deal on some really great filament.